hello welcome back and in this class we are going to learn about the terraform state manipulation commands okay that is the tsm basically so uh so far uh, we have seen like uh, terraform has been managing state for us like automatically right but uh, sometimes in some cases we have to and we need to directly interact with the state file okay so whatever the state file is created in which terraform remembers what resource it has created and uh, what resource it has deleted so that is the state file which we have already discussed on this so if we want to directly interact with the state file sometimes to just inspect uh, to move or remove any resources so in those cases this uh, terraform manipulation commands comes in the picture so uh, i will just let you know like uh, why it is important like why state manipulation okay why why we need it so basically here are some situations like suppose the first one like uh, you renamed a resource in code but don't want to recreate it like suppose you have uh, created a resource with like my bucket okay and then later in your project you want to make it as dev bucket so in that case you don't want to again just destroy the resource and again uh, trying to create with this uh, resource name okay i'm not talking about the bucket name i'm talking about the resource name okay so whatever you give the name in the after resource and the name which you gave it here under this i mean at this place so that name i'm talking about okay so second case it could be like suppose you have imported an existing resources okay and uh, you want to just uh, reorganize it and also if you want to inspect the attributes of any resource so just to inspect attributes like what are the things are there and the info of that resource so in that case we can use this uh, manipulation command so i'll just let you know the there are few only four commands only the first one is the terraform i'll just like uh, tf okay terraform state list it will show all the resources which are uh, present in the state file so i will just show you here we will uh, just do the practical also let me just open a folder and terraform basics we have i will just create a new folder with the name terraform state manipulation commands that folder is located just open it up and in this nothing we are going to do uh, already which we have this uh, snippet i'm just going to copy it and just paste it create a new file with the name main.tf just paste it cool now what i want i don't want to create uh, any instance here okay so i'll just remove this as it will take uh, time to create that so i'm just removing it instead of that i'm just creating another resource with the name of a bucket like my bucket okay and then just give the bucket name as anything bucket equal to hello world okay so now just open up a terminal and initialize the project terraform in it okay so till then i'll just uh, let you know the other commands which we have so the first one is the terraform state list second one we have like uh, terraform state show so we are going to write terraform state I don't know my piece is hanging that's why this is happening okay uh, it's just terraform state so and then the third one which we have that is the it will be terraform state remove and then next we have uh, terraform state mb just to rename any resource okay so if i try to write again so second one was the terraform state show and then the name of the resource 
third one was the terraform state mv just to rename the old one name then new name and fourth one will be the terraform rm and then the same resource name okay so terraform state actually okay so that will be removing their uh, end resource but it won't remove resource uh, from your what we say from your uh, actual resource it will just remove from the state file and here we got some error like what is the error all modules should specify the required for the external risk consumer will get the correct providers okay telephone require provider we have provider aws we have okay Here we have to give, I guess, AWS S3 bucket domestic credit. Okay, save it. Here I'm just given the name. Okay. Now again, initialize. It will take a few seconds of time. Okay, it's done. Next to the command, we will type as the Terraform plan, and then we'll just apply. It will create two resources for us: one S3 bucket and another is security group. So let's do apply. Then we will have a state file. Then I can show you all the commands which I just told you. Okay, bucket name. It is bucket is creating with the with this resource that name. Actual name is this hello world. Okay, so now we have the state file. Let me scale the screen and now I will show you the Terraform state show. Ah, sorry, state list. So here you can see the two resources which we created. That is the S3 bucket with it is coming with this name, and then we have the security group example security group. Now the next command is if we want to show the information of these uh, resources which is created. So for that we have this uh, Terraform state show, and then the name. So for the bucket we can just copy this, paste it and if we do this one so you can see the all the information about the resource like uh, extra information like we have the ARN bucket you have the domain name as well if they see to instant then you will get the IP address and all also everything so these are the information which you are getting from the state file okay for a particular resource next we have the rename so sometimes you need to rename a resource and why renaming is important I'll just tell you so basically uh, it improves your code uh, readability right so maybe you uh, like here it's uh, basically wrong the name of the resource if anyone try to read your file this uh, terraform file so they will not understand why this is uh, being used so for for this like we can change the name from name to something like uh, uh, name like dev bucket or something like that okay so let's do it how we are going to do now so for that the command we have the terraform state mv and then the old one so what is the old name we have so old name, old name was s3 bucket let me just go okay i can't let me just check in the state file itself hmm we need to give dot only i guess dot name and then another name we are going to give that is the aws underscore is three underscore bucket dot dev bucket let's hit enter and here you can see it's moving to the move the name 
from name to dev bucket here if you see in the state file so here it has been changed to a dev bucket so the what the benefit you got here so in suppose if you are not aware of this thing so again you had to uh, destroy the resource and then create it again and then you have to change the code here so because of that we do it okay so you can just change here also no issues dev bucket but there is no need to destroy the resource next we have the rm so terraform rm and uh, whatever the state uh, so whatever the resource you have so that you can use it to just uh, remove the resource and if you don't want uh, terraform to remember that in case like uh, that resource is uh, like uh, you guys are facing any error or something like that so in that case you can use that terraform state rm and then the whatever the resource you want to delete okay that i'm not going to do as i'm i'm just going to destroy this whole thing which you created okay so these are some four uh, commands related to the state file management so i hope uh, it might help you and uh, that's it for this class and i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching